Hi, let's build an instrument. This is the QuarkBot. This is a programmable little electronic helper. And look how cute it is. It has the arms and the legs and the eyes and the horn. And right now it's programmed to be a computer keyboard. Let's try it. So let's plug it in. And switch it on. The QuirkBot has five a little bit cool and unusual touch sensors. You can activate them by touching both sides of an arm, like this. So this is the letter A and S, and so on. You can also activate the sensors by touching the inner hole to ground. And ground is this eye here, the right eye of the QuirkBot. And this is the reason why we have alligator wires. So if we take an alligator wire and connect it to the ground, and if we take another alligator wire and connect it to the trigger, touching these wires together will trigger. And the cool thing is that anything that has even a little bit conductivity can be used as a trigger, even your own body. So if you touch this here, the ground, then as soon as you touch a trigger, you will trigger it. And this goes for all materials. So you can use a lot of different conductive materials to build a physical controller for your instrument, like aluminum foil here, or you can even use fruit like this so touching the ground triggers the thing so now let's make some noise most synthesizers can actually be played with a computer keyboard which is very lucky for us and here is a list of web synthesizers that you can play directly in the browser there is a lot of them but you can also use software like GarageBand, Ableton Live, if you happen to have that installed. So let's try the first one here, this one. Let's connect another one here. Ground. What if you want to choose which notes you play? You just click on this link here, which will take you to the code. So this is the code running on the QuirkBot right now. So these are all the touch inputs for the horn, for the left arm, for the right arm, and so on. And this is all the key trigger outputs. So this triggers key A, key S, key D, and so on. Let's say you want to change key S to be the some other key. Let's say W. You can do that. And now you can upload your code. The first time you will upload code, you will need to install an extension. So click install. Add to Chrome, add app, now it's here, you can close this one, close this one, and click upload. So if we go back here, and try it. Now it's triggering W. There is also one more thing you can change in this view, and that is the sensitivity. So if you want the trigger to be more or less sensitive, depending on the situation or the instrument you build, then you can change it there and upload if you want. 
good luck.